what is your Salesforce edition? I'm going to show you how to find that and also go through some of the differences of the standard editions available in Sales Cloud. So first off, an edition in Salesforce is like a version of the software. It's what features you're paying for. And it's really important to know what edition you're on because then you'll know what features you potentially have access to that you're not taking full advantage of. So to find out what edition you have, go into the setup menu. You can get here by clicking the gear in the upper right-hand corner and then type in company information in the quick find. You'll see that menu item pops up. And then on the right-hand side, right underneath the Salesforce organization ID is the name of the edition that you're on. I'm on a developer edition, which is a, a special version. So you probably won't be. You'll see essentials or professional or enterprise there most likely. And if you look on the Salesforce website, you can see the editions for specific products. So most people, when we talk about Salesforce, they're talking about sales cloud or service cloud. But of course, there's lots of other products like Pardot and Marketing Cloud that'll have its own editions as well. So here with Sales Cloud, you can see we've got Essentials, Professional, Enterprise, and then Unlimited. And generally speaking, the differences here are the features that you have access to. Now you'll notice Developer Edition is not listed here because Developer Editions aren't sold. They're made available for free, actually, for anybody that wants to learn how to use Salesforce or who wants to develop a new application or, or something to integrate with Salesforce. So most companies will have Essentials, Professional, or Enterprise. And let's start with Essentials. So Essentials is designed for small businesses. It really limits the amount of customization that you have. Now, it's got some features actually that the higher edition of Professional doesn't have, but your ability to customize the system is greatly limited. Professional edition is where we start to get into that customization. You can now make custom objects, or you can make new tables in the database for tracking you know, custom workflows or processes within your company. And then with Enterprise, this is where we're really getting into some of the more advanced software features. So Enterprise includes API access, which means you can now integrate Salesforce with pretty much anything. And it also has a lot more features when it comes to automation. So the main reasons I see somebody move from Professional Edition to Enterprise Edition, it's usually API access as well as automations. You're not limited to just a few automations like you are in the Professional Edition. You can create many, many more and of course, improve your process that way. And then with Unlimited, you're getting even more advanced features that are usually sold as add-ons. Few organizations that I work with are on the Unlimited edition. The vast majority are on Enterprise. Even if they're small businesses with only 10 employees or five employees, they're usually still on the Enterprise edition. The reason for that is because it just opens up your opportunities around automation and, and integration where you can get a lot of leverage in your business technology. To better understand the differences and the details between these editions, on this pricing page, you can scroll down and you'll see that there's a table explaining the different features, what you get in one and, and don't get in the other. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.